Hey guys, I just wanted to go over uh, the technical differences between the Jackery 500, which is a very popular unit, uh, and the new for 2021, the uh, EcoFlow River Max. So some of the differences that I want to go over will help you make a decision on what's going to work well for you. Uh, we do represent EcoFlow, we do represent uh, Blue Eddy, Line Safari, uh, uh, Energy should be, we should be representing them pretty quick. They are uh, releasing their product here. It is finally available, so that's going to be available as well. Plus a few other different manufacturers. And I just want to say this real quick. I, I'm the owner of the company. Uh, my name is Rennie. Anything that we offer on our website, it's because I would use it personally. If there's something I wouldn't personally use, not saying it's a bad product. It's just, I don't offer what I don't use, if that makes any sense at all. Um, so back to these two products the big differences are your battery capacity so the jackery 500 is what is it now 518 watt hours and then the ecoflow river max is 576 watt hours so what that translates to for real life data um the fridge we have at home it's it's not the biggest fridge it's not the smallest but it's got the dual french doors at the top it's got the freezer at the bottom this will power it for five and a half hours so for that small of a battery capacity to be able to do that, that's actually quite impressive. The main thing that I want to go over, I'm going to go over all of the ports and how you can charge from it um, or power devices from it. But the main thing I want to talk about that I want to stress on is how quickly each of these charge from solar, from your vehicle and from the wall. To me, that's the deal breaker on the Jackery 500. And I'll go into that right now and then we're going to do some... I'll show you some more in the video, uh, just some good examples here. So the Jackery 500, um, what is it now? From the car and the wall, they say seven and a half hours. I don't know if that's 100% true, and I'm gonna show you why in a moment here. Uh, from the car, they say six and a half hours for the EcoFlow River Max. I do believe it's gonna be quicker than that, but you're gonna see in a, in a couple moments as well. From the wall, and that's where this shines, 1.6 hours, so under two hours. So in a grid down scenario, this is the one to go to in my eyes. If you have rolling blackouts and you know when the blackouts are coming, you can easily have your portable solar generator powered and ready to go to power your fridge, your freezer, your CPAP, whatever it may be. I, I run a portable diesel heater, which actually I could use to power my house as well if I chose to, or not power, provide heat to my house. Uh, this will actually, run my diesel heater in regular spring, summer, fall conditions. Right now it's a little bit cooler for us. I'm out at the trailer right now and it's going to be minus five tonight and we've got a blizzard starting tonight. Joys of living in Alberta, but it is what it is. Um, but this will run my portable diesel heater for anywhere between three and four days. Colder temperatures like this, it would be about two days is what it would run it for. Um, but back to the charging, uh, from solar, the Jackery is rated for hundred Watts. However, I'm gonna show you in the video, um, we didn't get perfect sun today, but you do get an example. The most I've ever seen is 77. It's actually, sorry, it's either 74 or 77 watts going in. Even though it's rated for 100 watts, it's like they regulate it. To me, that doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. Uh, the EcoFlow River Max is rated for 200 watts. We have seen 200 watts going in with our 215 watt solar blanket. With our 120 watt solar blanket that we offer, we've seen a full 120 watts going in. In fact, the other day I compared these side by side. I laid out two 120 watt solar blankets. I didn't see any more than 77 watts going in with this. Sorry, it was 77 or 74. I forget with the solar. I know from the wall it's 77 watts going in, but I saw a full 120 watts going in with the exact same how they were laid out. We just laid it flat on the ground. We didn't even point it at the sun and we were able to get that. Uh, the other differences between these, the EcoFlow River Max, it has 10 ports. So 10 ports where you can charge 10 devices simultaneously. The, uh, the Jackery 500 has seven. So to me, what I think is a big thing, you've got three 110s right here. See if you can see that. You got three 110 uh, charging uh, ports. So just like a regular 110 flag that you have at your house. These are rated for 1200 watts surge. They do say 1800 watts on paper, but realistically it's 1200 watts. Now the river, or sorry, the, uh, the Jackery 500 has only the one, which is right here, which is rated for a thousand watts surge. You know, for some people thought one might be sufficient, but I don't know. I like having more. I'll have my laptop. I could have my drone. I could have uh, multiple other devices when we go out. It depends if we're out at the, we've got our trailer here, if we're in our South African trailer or 
in the rooftop tent. It's just nice to have more ports to charge devices. And I do find when you have power and other people find out and they don't have power, they want to, uh, you become popular and they want to, they want to power their devices as well too. So back to some of the other ports. So the Jackery 500 has three USB charging ports. They're your standard 2.4 amp, does not have USB-C. So now the EcoFlow River Max has three USB right here. Two are your standard 2.4 amp, and one is rated for fast charge, which will do 28, uh, 28 watts. And then it has USB-C type PD, which is rated for 100 watts. All of the new laptops, the MacBook Pros, uh, iPhones, a lot of the new Android phones, they all charge from USB-C. So it's nice to have that as an option. So regarding flashlights, each of them have a, a light right in the front. So let's just turn this on. Where are we at for a button? So the River Max, just got to get my finger there. There we go. River Max, it has three ports. Let's point it down so it's not shine right at you. But you can see it has, there you go. So you have three different options on how that tool will provide light. And then the Jackery just has one, which for some people that'll be more than sufficient, but it's kind of nice to have the two different settings for your brightness and then the SOS. I don't know if you'll ever use that for that reason, but it does give you that option. Regarding the DC port, so your cigarette lighter plug in here, this is rated for 12 volts, whereas the, um, the River Max this is rated for 13.6 volts. So as an example, I'll just say this real quick. I run my portable diesel heater, which I did mention off of that. This, yeah, this will run more high power devices. And I never feel uncomfortable worrying I won't have power to provide heat for myself or my girlfriend using that diesel heater. Uh, other than that, we have the two smaller DC round imports or light uh, ports for both of them. I don't really get the Jackery one, but I'm just going to show you this. All of the generators, no matter, or solar generators that we offer, no matter what model, have this style of port right here. And the reason I like it, I have these, and these are an energy product. These are 400 lumen chainable lights. I use these on our, uh, uh, on our Tech 5 South African trailer, the rooftop tent. Heck, for emergency preparedness, let's say the power goes out, you can light out a huge amount of your home with this these won't plug into there. So they have like a proprietary type plug-in. So I'm assuming, I don't know 100%, but I'm assuming that they offer some sort of um, devices for charging into that. That's what a lot of companies do. Oh, just want to mention real quick, this is an example. This is our 120 watt solar blanket right here. Uh, mention it real quick to you guys. We do offer two high-speed USB charging ports on there, plus the USB Type-C PD, so you can charge your, uh, your laptops, MacBooks, what have you. Uh, any, any, anything that charges from USB can charge from that. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in, I've got another EcoFlow River uh, Max here. I'm going to plug in just to emulate that we're charging from the wall or from a vehicle. So you can see on the screen what I was just mentioning on why I think the numbers are a little off on this, uh, this Jackery 500. And you can see how quickly it's going to charge from the EcoFlow. So give me a second to plug everything in. And let's go from the wall first. So... First one I'm going to plug in here, guys, is going to be the Jackery. So we're going to plug this guy in. We're only doing one at a time. I'm going to bring it right up. And there you go, 76. And this is the same that I see at home running from my, uh, my wall. The maximum I get is 77 watts going in. That's what I was saying. You do the math on that. That's going to, that's going to take a very long time to charge. So now let's compare again. Get that out of the way. So we're only having one of these devices plugged in at one time. So I'm going to plug in the EcoFlow River Max, and you'll see why I was saying this is only going to take 1.6 hours. It takes a couple seconds to ramp up, but there we go. We're now over 200. We should be just under 500 watts going in. We're at 59%. Hopefully you can see on the screen there. 481, 482 watts going in. Just went up to 60% and we're at 51 minutes till we're at full charge. Like that's impressive. If again, if you have rolling blackouts, you have grid down situation, you can use this. Let's say even if you had a gas generator, but you don't want to run it long, you could, you could quickly charge off of your, your gas generator, then turn it off to save fuel and bring this inside to, uh, to power your fridge. So let's unplug that now. And again, now I'm going to compare just like we were charging from your vehicle. 
And the same results we're seeing here, I see in my Toyota 4Runner, just so you know. So again, we'll start with the Jackery. And it's 42, 43 watts, 42 watts going in. That is what it's limited to. It doesn't go up from there. That's where I was saying for them to say that this is going to charge from the, the car in seven and a half hours. Well, 42 watts, it's going to take quite a long time. So now we'll just do a comparison again. Let's plug this guy in. And now again, emulating that we are charging from a vehicle. Let's bring it right over here. It'll just take a second to kick in. And there you go. We are, should stop just under 130, about 130 watts. 129. So again, 60% and we are two hours, it'll be fully charged. Just under 130 watts going in, which is actually really impressive. And actually, just out of curiosity's sake, let's see if there's a difference with the charging ports. So this is rated for 12 volt, that's rated for 13.6 volts. So now let's see, is there a difference? Are we going to get 130 watts? Nope. So there's your difference. Just showing the charging port difference. So we got 130 watts from the EcoFlow River Max plug-in. The maximum we're getting is 106 watts. And you can see charging from the Jackery, it's actually now, it's bumped it up from two hours to three hours. So that's interesting. Ugh. But either way, guys, um, we've got several packages available. I just wanted to give a comparison. Um, between these two products. There's, like I mentioned earlier, there's a reason that we offer certain brands on our website and not others. Jackery, it, it, it's a good, they do have good products, but I, I do find that a lot of it, they don't have the technology that EcoFlow offers or Blue Eddy offers or Energy offers. They, they just seem to be, these are a little bit more consumer grade for what they offer. They're a good price point and that's good for a lot of people. It's just, I don't like being limited when I have power requirements, especially when I'm trying to provide power between, let's say one weekend we go to the trailer, one weekend we go out and we use one of our South African trailers, uh, the next weekend we're using our rooftop tents. I don't want to be limited on how quickly I can charge and what I can charge from. So yeah, definitely check out our website, offgridtrek.com. We've got tons of packages available. We're always adding more packages. Um, just keep in mind, there's no specific cookie cutter way to provide power for everybody's requirements. So if there's something on our website that you don't see, that you want to see, just give us a call. Ask for me. I'm the owner. My name's Rennie. And I'd be happy to answer any of your questions, even if we need to customize something for you. We do that often. Um, and yeah, definitely enjoy your day. I'm enjoying, I'm not going to call it sunny, but I'm <laughs> seeing all the clouds coming in, uh, before we get this wonderful blizzard coming in. The joys of living in Alberta. Okay, have a great day, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll post this up soon. Part of the video we're going to have, I'll be showing us charging from the two 120-watt solar blankets as well. So you can see the charging uh, in low light, and we didn't get bright light, but that'll be on there as well too. I wanted to do a quick comparison with the Jackery 500 and the EcoFlow River Max, both charging from 120-watt solar blankets, uh, laying flat on the ground here. Got a kind of in between a sunny and hazy day right now, but kind of give you guys a comparison of what's going in right now. We currently have in the EcoFlow River Max, there's 86 watts. We actually saw 110 watts just a moment ago with them laying on the ground. There we go, it's creeping back up. 104 watts going in. And then the, uh, even though this is rated for 100 watts, it doesn't seem to want to go past 74 watts, which, uh, yeah, you don't get the full potential out of it by the looks of it. And there we are, we're at... Like I said, we've got, we've got haze going on here. We don't have a perfectly sunny day. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a comparison to show everybody. There we go, it's dropping down again right there. But yeah, this is... What I've done is I've laid two 120-watt solar blankets on the ground here. So they're in literally identical locations. Keep in mind, you're going to get better readings or let me rephrase that, you're, you're going to get more power if you're laying these on the windshield of a vehicle or if you're pointed directly at 
like if you angle them towards the sun. But for us to get readings like this is actually really good. Okay, so here is an example with very low light conditions, guys. We had some pretty thick clouds coming in. We actually have a bunch of snow. We have a snowstorm starting, I think, sometime around midnight tonight. But either way, uh, both 120-watt solar blankets plugged in. EcoFlow River Max, we've got still 39 watts going in from the 120 watt solar blanket. An identical solar blanket is putting in 28 watts into the Jackery 500. So these are them on the ground here. And again, same example. Um, I don't think I'll get today, I don't think I'll get perfect sun to show you guys, but uh, we got a, a little bit of, not too bad of sun. But again, still same thing. 39 watts going in with the EcoFlow River Max, because I believe they, well, they definitely use an MPPT solar charge controller built in. And we were hovering 28, 27, seems to be staying around 28. Yeah, 27 watts going in into the EcoFlow. So yeah, that's that's a big difference. Um, yeah, and, and even when we had the brighter light earlier, we did see 110 watts going in into the EcoFlow uh, River Max, but we only saw a maximum of 74 watts going in with the exact same setup, which is interesting. It seems like they um, they don't allow it to go past 74 watts because I've used it in perfect sunlight and I've gotten 120 watts going in from the 120 watt solar blanket. And we, yeah, and the same thing. It always seemed to max out at 74 watts with the Jackery, which is rated for 100 watts from solar. So it's interesting they do that.